Hi, the artsy timeline with custom animation you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, the first flower flowers and we have the explanation. Then the second milestone is shown like this, the third milestone and the fourth milestone. So let us learn how to create this beautiful animation tutorial from scratch. And in the process, you will also learn how to create these beautiful flowers and leaves entirely inside PowerPoint. Let's jump right to the tutorial. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to draw the pole around which the creeper climbs. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. This would serve as the pole. Let us give this slightly darker gray color. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Then let us create the flower. Let me go to a new slide so you can clearly see what I'm going to do now. Let us go to auto shapes gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up the teardrop tool. Hold the shift button down and draw the teardrop. Then go to rotate, go to more rotate options and let us rotate it to 135 degrees. So the pointy end points downwards. Then let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then let us go to flip vertical and then place this right below the previous one. Select both of them, press Ctrl G to create a group, then press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then go to rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and make sure that it is placed right along the middle line. Then let us select everything Press Ctrl G, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate, then go to size and position, rotate it by 45 degrees and then ensure that all of them are aligned properly by going to align middle and align center. Now let us right click, go to group and say ungroup. Once again, let us go to right click, go to group and say ungroup. The next step is to increase the transparency so you can see the flower formation in the middle. Now let us select everything, go to merge shapes and say shape fragment. Now we don't need all these other elements around it. We just require the flower. Let us reduce the transparency to 0%. Give it maybe red color like this and give this white outline. Maybe you can even increase the weight to around say one and a half points or two one by four points. Now let us select this. Press Ctrl G. We have got the central part of the flower. Then let us press Ctrl D. Place this right on top of the previous one. Hold Ctrl and Shift button and click and drag from the outside. The flower is enlarged while keeping the center point the same. Now let us give this yellow color, right click and send this to back. Now let us press Ctrl D again and place this right on top of the previous one. Hold Ctrl Shift and then click and drag so we have an even bigger set of petals. Give this maybe orange color, right click and send this to back. Now we have the flower beautifully shown. Now I'm going to select all of these, press Ctrl G to group and then reduce the size. So this is a good enough size for us. Then right click, go to group and say ungroup. Let us select the second one, which is the yellow colored layer. Then go to animations and let us have this enter with grow and turn. So that is how it enters the scene. Then let us have the last layer go to animations and once again have this grow and turn. So that is how it happens. Go to animation pane. This happens after previous. Maybe we can have both of them happen with just 0.5 seconds. So the animation happens like this on a click this and this happens. So now we have the flower in place. Let us copy this and then place it over here. Next, let us learn how to draw the leaves. For that, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up the heart shape here. Click and draw the heart shape. Then you squish it a little bit so that becomes a leaf. You can rotate it. Then go to Auto Shapes Gallery again. From lines, you can pick up this curve tool and then draw a curve. You can start from here, have it slightly bent and then let this pass through here so it mimics the shape of the vein. And then go to shape outline, give it light gray color 
and then you can have that have around two one by four points as the thickness for this let us go to shape fill and give it dark green color shape outline no outline and let us select both of them and press ctrl g to group so now we have the flower ready and the leaf ready the last step is to draw the stem so let us go to auto shape gallery once again let us pick up the same curve tool and then draw in such a way that it starts from the center and then you click here bend it and then click here bend it and then have it somewhere around here then let us make this thicker by going to weight and you can use around six points and then make this into dark green color and let us have all the petals come forward let us bring it to front now this is on one side now we can select the flower press ctrl d to create a duplicate and then we can place this right on top of this place and then let us select this and create a duplicate by pressing ctrl d and then let us place this somewhere over here and then go to rotate and say flip vertical if you want you can always rotate the angle slightly like so and then place it somewhere over here or maybe you can change the angle a little bit if you want you can even change the angle by right clicking and going to edit points and you can move it somewhere up it is completely up to you let us bring these elements to the front by right clicking and using bring to front option now it is time for us to arrange the leaves now let us select this press ctrl c to copy and then go here paste it and then you just need to arrange it along the path here now we are not going to add any animation to any of these elements finally let us add some label for each of them you can say you can replace this sample text let us increase the font size to 20 fold them into two lines and have this centrally aligned and place it over here and hold the control button down as you click and drag to create a copy hold the control button down click and drag to create a copy we need to have this float down so let us go to float in and say float down and this happens after previous and this happens right after this flower flowers and you can even have that with previous and that will be more dramatic we will do the same thing for this and this so let us select this go to animation painter and then click on this and you can see that the same animation is copied you click on this and the same animation is copied you escape to claim your cursor the second one can be brought over here and the third one is brought over here and this one can be floating up now we have completed our animation when i go to slideshow this is how the initial graphic looks then on a click i bring in the first one like this then i show the second event along the timeline like this and then the third event along the timeline like this now by reducing the size of these flowers leaves and the various elements you can have as many events along the timeline as you like this kind of a design works quite well if your presentation is around art, design, etc. In case you've not already watched our beautiful animated infographic in PowerPoint where I show a different way of having these flowers bloom, then I will leave a link to that video here right away. You can use that variation to tell your growth story. And if you want to join our 25 Creative Ideas 5-day free email course, you can click on the link shown on the screen. I'll see you in the next video.